Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready. So your energy is King of Swords, Death Card. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, your person's energy is Five of Wands, Seven of Cups, the Empress, Three of Swords, Meeting Energies, Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Hermit, our focus Nine of Swords, a little bit of anxiety, King of Cups, bottom of the deck, match for the Queen. There can be a conversation, guys, between the two of you. I would say that what you can uh, point out can be something that this person is not going to like. Uh, some of you are dealing with a, a confusionary lover or partner according to the potential depth of the connection. They do not know what they want. They would like to be with you, yes. But what about the progression? I mean, this can be someone that can be distracted by a lot of things integrity friendship time third chakra solar plexus this is about clarity guys um, it seems that the two of you are not on the same page about what um, you would like to achieve with uh, this connection, this romantic connection. Date. Meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan or set a date. Self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Bottom of the deck, we have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. Uh, not today, bottom of healthy choices, not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call or a person, boundaries, still angry. Guys, this person gets the Three of Swords, but um, this energy comes because you can um, decide to end this connection. The reasons can be a little bit different according to the scenarios. Either the connection doesn't uh, properly work between the two of you, or we can think about a realization that is not in favor of the opportunity to build something reliable with this person. And then again, there can be people around this individual that are not good for them. And at the same time, uh, people that are not good for this connection and for you guys. It's like you do not like those people. And we can talk about friends. So, uh, if it is a dating process, um, it's fair to say that intimacy was shared and maybe it was quite satisfying, I would say, guys. What you can question instead can be the emotional maturity of this person. They get the Empress, but it's like they can be, they can be um, 
a source of interest for other people, you know? And at the same time, they can have options because if they have been single for a while, considering the hermit, so like a bachelor or a bachelorette, maybe they like uh, that type of situation. Five of wands, a seven of cups, you know? And if you are thinking to build for the future, three of pentacles, knight of pentacles, this can be an iffy situation, one, influenced by ego, the five of swords, at some point you can get tired, time, integrity, and the death card kicks in, revolutionary change, a situation as it was can be completely different moving forward. Let's find out more, let's see. I want to see, guys, the five of wands, seven of cups combination, and then I want to see the three of swords. Knight of Swords, Judgment, Eight of Cups, Seven of Swords. I do not like the combination of energies. The two of you can discuss, so watch out for the words that uh, can fly around when you let this person know that things are going to change, but not in favor of this connection. The judgment can be unexpected news because maybe they were thinking that everything was fine between the two of you, especially considering the opportunity to share intimate moments together. They are going to ask for a second chance, basically, give me another chance. The Eight of Cups is what can happen, but also um, a modus operandi because this person can be called to focus their attention on other things, other endeavors, other people. They are not positive. The Seven of Swords, lies, betrayals, deceits. Seven of Swords plus the Seven of Cups, it can be about lies. Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, it can be about competition. The Five of Swords is bothering me now because this person can be someone that um can truly lie with a poker face you know uh, they can lie with a straight face and this is not uh this is not positive at all three of swords guys out of curiosity here we go seven of pentacles and the three of swords again so this situation has been unfolding the Three of Swords is what this person brings to the table for several reasons. Um, they are going to be disappointed when they are uh, left behind by those of you that can resonate, but there is nothing that um, they can do about it, you know? It's the whole package that uh, doesn't work. They can also be involved in, you know, certain situations that are not quite right because the Seven of Swords, you know, can describe a sneaky behaviors, not exactly transparent and honest considering the Seven of Cups. What about you? Let's see, guys. The two queens, because you can evaluate the intentions of this person, Queen of Cups, and we are not uh, we are not in a good place. The Queen of Wands can be about passion, yes, but it's also an energy about a healthy self confidence, and so you will have to realize if this person can be good for you or not. The King of Swords is uh, the other energy that I want to see because it can even follow the integrity oracle card and some of you can say something like i do not want any part in this connection um considering all the confusion that uh, can be around you so meaning this person you can say that to this person 
you have too much confusion around you, I do not want to be involved in this situation. So the two queens, three of pentacles, recurrent energy, the devil, problematic situation, guys. There is something absolutely uh, not good. This can be a cycle, indeed. For some of you, you have to break free. The sooner you do that, the better. Tower, on point. I love the confirmation coming from the energies. Um, shaky foundations. We cannot trust this person, guys. The more you uh, fuel this connection, uh, the worse the situation can get. What about the King of Swords? The ability to connect all the dots, which is meaningful as a concept, considering the Seven of Cups, uh, Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, Five of Swords, combination of energies, plus the Hermit can also be an encouragement for you. Bring a light in this situation, but uh, do not put yourself in a dangerous position. Be careful. Because the Nine of Swords, from this person's perspective can be, oh my goodness, I can be left behind. But from your perspective can be something like, oh my goodness, what's going on here? What are they doing? Can I trust them? I thought they were different, but in reality, they seem to be someone else, you know? Queen of Cups, another recurrent energy. Seven of Cups, I told you, connecting all the dots, Page of Cups. This is an I am sorry, but, guys, some of you can say that. I am sorry, but I want to end the situation. You will have to choose carefully your words because this person might not like that. It's like they want you. And if you say that you want to go away, uh, they can struggle to accept that. And maybe friends can uh, play uh, an important role in your favor because they can support you. So um, it would be wise to talk with people that you can trust so that they can be up to date uh, about this connection. In the meeting, guys, I want to see the Five of Swords and then the Two of Pentacles Hermit combination, real quick. Seven of Wands, not having it anymore from your perspective. This person is not going to let go easily, guys. They can resist the change, the death card. They do not want to lose the connection with you. Justice, integrity, right and fair decision. Plus, guys, it can be justice in the um, general meaning, truly the law, you know? This person, careful. Eight of Pentacles. Effort, we are not there. This person uh, doesn't have what it takes for a romantic connection to be truly reliable, healthy, and successful. This can even be an energy about work. This person can be involved in situations that are not positive at all, guys. The sooner you get out from this uh, dating process, the better. What about the Two of Pentacles Hermit? Here we go. Wheel of Fortune, time factor, time sticking. There is a cycle as an expiration date stamped on it already. It's not a positive cycle. Excesses, the devil. Ten of Swords, it should end. It should end sooner rather than later. Um, as soon as you end this situation, not today as a concept. Um, I do not want to speak with you. I do not want to talk with you. Uh, do not call me. Do not uh, text me. I will change uh, my phone number. This is the, the point uh, from this Oracle card. Not dealing. 
avoiding a conversation, a call, or a person, boundaries. Again, the Nine of Swords, guys. Oh my goodness. What's going on? Who are they? I thought they were different. They seem to be a completely different individual. Uh, can I trust them? Uh, there is something that is off. They say a lot of things and then they do the opposite, you know? That type of situation, not a pleasant one. It should end, guys. I do not want any part in this situation. This is the choice of words that is truly the recurrent one for these energies. So be careful, but put yourself in the best possible position to move on from this connection. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.